arrived in Folkestone on my way to the Lilford Gallery here to look at some of my paintings. Nearly everything I paint has been inspired by the memory of something that happened in my life. I've never been down in the Lilford studio and have no idea what awaits me. All I know is it's underground. So I approach with interest and a little trepidation. Love that word. This is the door where our journey begins. Here we go. Blast. Denied. What the F? After entering the main gallery, we descend 2,000 millimeters below the Earth's surface. We are greeted by the soft hum of some breathing apparatus and a painting of a dust cart. It's in Chalk Farm Road, just about to go under the railway bridge at Camden Lock. The market is on the right. The film's going faster than I thought. I'm afraid I'll have to speak faster to keep up. Camden Lock. I named this one, waiting under the bridge, too. The car you see is in the same position as the dust cart in the first picture. That's supposed to be me in the middle. The building on the right isn't there anymore, because there's been a lot of... Oh, never mind. Ice cream. No, not ice cream. Ice cream. It's a screaming 99. Out of season amusements. Great. A stroll down to Chinatown. Monet's wife, Camille, from his painting, The Stroll, can be seen standing on the pavement. With the parasol. The station cafe, Dungeness, before it was refurbished. This picture is about Valentine's Day, when the little steam train brought couples to dine by candlelight. Rainy day, shopping in Camden Town. There's a bus where there was a dust cart and then a car, in previous paintings. That bus recently passed my old place. Waterloo Bridge. Great for an evening stroll. This is winter, but the book market under the bridge is still going strong. A shadow of my former self. And the shadow of Ratty, one of the dogs. Hive, Main Street. Closes to traffic, about midday. Interesting. One of the many spooky buildings of unknown ex-usage, on Dungeness. Did you know, that it's classified as a desert? Great stone. Dungeness, it really is great. Best dog walking beach in the land. Of Kent. The lookout. Bluebird tea rooms. Perched on the edge of Dover Cliff. Marylebone flyover. Paddington Green on the left. Edgeway Road tube on the right, just across the lights. Seemed like I was never out of Edgeway Road station in the 80s. F standing train. I think this must be Belsize Park. It usually was. Ha. Huh. Here's that dust cart again. But this time from the front. I'm standing under the bridge that has Camden Town written on it. The old horse hospital is across the road. No horses there now, of course. Unless you count clothes horses. Ha ha ha. A2 morning. This represents the commute. Not always raining, but it may as well have been. Yeah. The drive home to the seaside. Slow traffic on a Friday. Careful now. They've stopped. Quick. Hit the brakes. Uh. Phew. That was close. What? No one about in Camden Town. Unlikely. Mind you. Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of etc. The Homecoming. A play at a theater called the Trafalgar Studios. With Nelson's column in the background. I think there's another one of that place here somewhere. Dungeness again. The power station in the middle. Houses made from train carriages, not one, but two light houses, a little steam train. What's not to like? The pub's got thousands of novelty key rings hanging from the beams. One of them is mine. Black Dot. It's me in High Street, Kensington. Great place to shop. If you like that sort of thing. Cecil Court. Night. Charming and oldie worldy, mostly bookshops. A cut through between Charing Cross Road and St. Martin's Lane. Close enough for jazz. I'm standing in Old Compton Street. Looking north, up Frith Street. That's the queue for Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club, on the left. Opposite is Little Italy, where I would have my dinner, at 11 or 12 at night. That was in the 90s. If it had been the 20s, I might have heard John Lobby Baird, watching his telly in the attic room above. Though there wouldn't have been much on. No change there then, hee hee. Soho Gardens is straight ahead. Man of Steel. No, not steel, the metal, but steel. It's the first one-man show from a friend of mine, at the Trafalgar Studios. James amazed and scared us with his pickpocketing skills. With Nelson's column just behind me. Woo matron. I'd like to jump on that open topper. Please yourselves. Back in old Compton Street. Looking towards Prince Edward's Theatre. Never a dull moment in Soho, I tell ye. Behind the National Gallery. To the left Leicester Square, and where a good friend once tried to kill me by making me eat a chili pepper. Grant really is the penultimate sometimes. And Garrick Theatre to the right. There's a little art material shop straight ahead. Always like to buy something there, if I can. Gallery Girl. An 
an action figure, superhero version of a girl who works in the gallery. I suppose that means the Rain Man won't be far behind. As I thought. He's the action figure of yours truly. How are you doing, buddy? I'm actually quite greedy, however. The only resemblance to me is the green flash tennis shoes. And maybe the black plastic pants. Ha ha ha. I jest. Note to self. Delete that last bit. Maybe I can slow down a bit now. It's not the singing butler. It's the dancing rat. Oh, my class. Um, that's a bit too slow now. The musician wheels his piano around brighter. That's better. Apparently he can play anything requested. Including the third man. Who, I hear you ask, would request the third man. Twas any old icon. Muchly thanks to him for taking the photos I referenced in making this picture. That's enough for the tambourine. If you'd like a non-virtual tour, I'd be happy to oblige. Thank you. Exiting narrator.